Hey guys, today we'll be taking a quick look at the HP KM300F budget gaming keyboard and mouse combo. And this is a RGB combo that comes from HP. So I have been using this for about a month now. So without wasting any more time, let's get into the review. Now let's talk about the form factor of the keyboard. Now the top panel that holds the keys together is made entirely out of metal and the base is constructed out of plastic. Now if we talk about the wire and the USB, this is an area in which HP has done a bit of cost cutting. So we see a normal wire with this keyboard and mouse, although it would have been nice to see something like a braided cable with this combo. Now, the USB is also pretty simple, no gold plating, but gets the job done. Now coming over to the mouse, we see a six button layout with the DPI button in the middle and two back and forward buttons on the side. The wheel is sort of textured so that it improves the grip while scrolling. Now let's take a look at the functions of this combo. The RGB on this keyboard is actually static, it doesn't move around, but there are three effects that will let you meddle with the lighting on this keyboard. So if you go ahead and press the function and one key on the keyboard, you can cycle between these effects. So the first effect is the breathing mode. This is my personal favorite. It makes the lights slowly turn off and then slowly turn on. Now the next effect is the flashing mode. It cycles really fast between the low and high brightness on the keyboard and that's pretty much it. Now, and the third effect is the static effect. I don't know if it can be called an effect because it's just static light coming out of the keyboard. Now the brightness of the light can also be changed by simultaneously pressing the function and the page up and page down keys. Another good thing that I liked about this keyboard is the keycaps are curved. So if you're typing or gaming, it will give you an overall better experience than the flat keycaps. Now coming to the mouse, it has 6 dpi settings and you can cycle through these settings by pressing the dpi button which is located right in the middle of the mouse. Other than that, this mouse has a simple construction with an RGB strip and an HP logo located at the back of the mouse. Another thing to note is that the colors on the mouse do move around unlike the ones on the keyboard. So after a month of usage there were a few things that I did not like about this combo. So the first one is that the spacebar on the keyboard started making a squeaky noise especially while being pressed from the left side. You can hear this audio to get a better idea. Now the second thing that I did not like about this combo is the back and forward buttons on the side of the mouse. The plastic that HP has used on these buttons is really bad and just gives off a bad vibe while you are trying to use them. So if you're a gamer or a person who uses these buttons very frequently, I would suggest you to skip on this one. So that's it for this quick little review on this combo. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one.